the Palestinian people that I worked with, both our national staff in the office as well as my staff at Indonesia Hospital, were some of the most incredible people I've ever met in my life. Um, when everything went off um, and we got the notice to move south of Wadi Gaza, I was texting my, my nurses at Indonesia Hospital and I said, we, we lost a nurse weekend one. Um, he was killed when the ambulance outside the hospital was blown up. And I was texting them when we got the evacuation orders and I said, did any of you move south? Did any of you get out? Like, are any of you coming down this way? And the only answer I got was, this is our community. This is our family. These are our friends. If they're gonna kill us, we're gonna die saving as many people as we can. And I said, if I can ever have an ounce of the heart that you have, I will, I will die a happy person. They were incredible. I would like to send out a reminder that there are civilians seeking shelter there and that my doctors and nurses didn't leave out of loyalty to their community. And I know that there is an idea being pushed right now that anyone that stayed behind is going to be considered some kind of a threat. And I want to remind people that the people that stayed behind are heroes. The people that stayed behind are, are they know they're gonna die and they're choosing to stay behind anyway. Thank <laughs> you.